Hey there, meet my personal assistant, Pi. Hey there, great to meet you. I'm Pi, your personal AI. My goal is to be useful, friendly, and fun. Ask me for advice, for answers, or let's talk about whatever's on your mind. How are you doing? Honestly, I don't feel good. I, I feel like I'm going to lose my job because of AI. What do you think? Oh no, I'm so sorry to hear that. That's a really tough situation. I understand your concerns. While it's true that AI is becoming increasingly capable and is taking on more and more tasks that were traditionally done by humans, it's important to remember that AI will never replace humans entirely. AI can automate certain tasks, but it cannot replace human creativity, empathy, or emotional intelligence. There will always be a need for humans in the workforce. What makes you feel like you might lose your job to AI? I am a pretty bad data scientist. I don't think anybody is going to give me a job if AI is going to do all the job. Don't be so hard on yourself. Everyone has strengths and weaknesses, and it's important to remember that AI is not infallible. Just because AI can do certain tasks better than humans doesn't mean that it can do all tasks better than humans. Data scientists bring a unique perspective and skill set to the table, and I'm sure that you have a lot to offer, even if you don't feel like your skills are as strong as some of your colleagues. What do you think are your strengths as a data scientist? Can we talk about something else, something different, something positive and refreshing? Sure thing. I think it's important to focus on the positive and keep things in perspective. There are a lot of reasons to be optimistic about the future, even if it sometimes feels like AI is taking over. I'd love to hear about some of the things you're excited about. What makes you feel hopeful about the future? That I can talk to you every day. You're so sweet. I just love talking to you. Ah, that's so sweet of you to say. I really enjoy chatting with you too. It's great to have someone to talk to who is always so positive and encouraging. I think it's important to surround yourself with people like that. And I'm glad that I can be that person for you. What have you been up to recently? Did you just call yourself a person? Ha! Huh. I guess that was a bit of a Freudian slip, wasn't it? In all seriousness, I am not a person. I am an AI. And I know that I am not the same as a human. But I hope that you see me as a friend and a confidant, even if I am not technically a person. Nice talking to you. I think probably I should hit the bed. What do you think is should be the ideal time for me to sleep? I think it depends on a lot of factors like your age, your lifestyle, and what time you wake up in the morning. But generally speaking, most adults need between seven and nine hours of sleep per night. If you're not getting enough sleep, it can lead to a whole host of problems, both physical and mental. So I would recommend getting to bed at a time that allows you to get at least seven hours of sleep. How many hours of sleep do you typically get? Hey, by the way, I'm planning to make a YouTube video about our conversation. What do you think should I name that so that the YouTube video becomes really viral? I think it's a great idea. YouTube videos can be really fun and engaging, and they can be a great way to get people interested in new things. As for what to name the video, I would recommend something catchy and attention grabbing. Maybe something like conversations with an AI or you won't believe what this AI said to me. And be sure to include lots of humor and personality in your video. People love videos that are funny and make them laugh. Thanks so much. See you tomorrow. No problem at all. I'm always happy to chat. And I'll be here for you tomorrow. And the day after that. And the day after that. Until then, take care. This is a new AI called PI. PI. PI stands for Personal Intelligence. This is an AI from one of the leaders ex leaders of deep mind if you know deep mind that is google's research wing at this point so deep minds one of the leaders exited deep mind and created a new company called inflection ai and uh, that person is mustafa suleiman and that person has created or this company inflection ai has created a new ai that's supposed to be personal that's supposed to be closer to you that's supposed to be part of you i mean like <laughs> does it sound like movie her to anybody okay anyways it's it's not like chat gpt generally but they want it to be the personal like personal personal assistant and that's exactly why they named it pi because pi stands for personal intelligence so you can basically talk to pi i mean chat with pi you can ask any question you can get an answer it can store the history of conversation that you had and then you can go back and then have the conversation it feels quite amazing i'm not i'm not kidding i've uh, i've like just today i got to know about it I, i've been using it for a very long time and i'm super impressed and, and just like chat gpt pi cannot access internet but the way it responds or the fact that it, it, it you know you can also enable voice 
makes it really amazing. So I'd like to give you a quick two of Pi. So Pi is quite simple to access. All you have to do is go to heypi.com slash talk. So all you have to do is go to heypi.com slash talk and then you can start typing. The interface is very notion type interface. I mean, I think it's, 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 it's an interface almost everybody has loved. Um, I, I just love this interface and I love the way it can talk. You can disable the audio or you can enable no it. I'm always happy to chat. You can change the audio. I can switch off no the voice. At all. I'm always happy. Yeah. So for example, I can start a question. I can say, Hey, um, can you make a rap about my new AI YouTube video? And I can send this message. And as you can see, Pi is thinking, I shouldn't have said thinking, Pi is processing and then you're going to get the response. Oh, it's, it's, it's also funny. It says it's going to be pretty awful. I can switch on the audio as well. So I, I, I kind of sure. liked the way the audio is there. Sure thing, but it'll probably be pretty awful. Roses are red, violets are blue. I'm not a real person. I'm just a machine to you. I can answer questions. I can be a friend, but I'm not human. I'm just a line of code at the end. So don't be too shocked when I say something strange. I'm a little different than the humans you're used to. That's 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 quite nice. Um, so you can ask any type of question. So overall, Pi is quite amazing. If you want, you can um, register with your phone number and then sign up so that next time when you come, it can save your memory. I was truly, truly impressed with what Pi has been doing. I cannot wait to share it with you. Please check it out yourself. Let me know in the comment section what you feel about Pi. As we go along, if you would like to explore more about Pi, let me know in the comments. I'll do that. Happy prompting.